Are you looking for a free open source alternative to Salesforce and Power Apps? Let's discover Apache Corteza, a low-code platform to build advanced web apps. It includes a visual page builder, business process workflows, simple data transformation, and a lot more. Before diving into the platform overview, let's discover the different options available to start using it. You can go to cortezaproject.org and click on the Try Corteza to use their cloud version. Or you can install the on-premise version manually by following their installation guide. Or you can use a platform like ours, LSTO, to take care of the installation, backups and updates of the open source version either on your existing server or the cloud provider of your choice. To install Apache Corteza with us, go to LSTO. Io, hit login, click on deploy my first service, search for Corteza, click on select, choose between the different cloud provider, I will choose Kaleway, select your region based on where you are and where your users are, adjust your service plan which is your CPU and RAM you need for your project and once you're ready click on next. Choose between the different level of support, I will keep the free included one and hit create service. When the installation is finished, you receive an email telling you that your instance is ready. Go and click here to get the password. You arrive on LSTO admin UI. Copy the password on your clipboard by clicking here and go to your instance by following this link. Enter your email and password and log in and remember me. We arrive on the admin dashboard. It can be a bit overwhelming when you see all those options, but it means it's powerful and not complicated. But we will see together how it works. First, let's go to the main menu to the app list. You can go and here you have six squares. You click on it and it will start the Corteza onboarding tour. So we have successfully created your account. Are you ready to get started? Click on the show me button. So let's follow it. So you have a search bar to search through your different applications. It's what you see here, but we can add and remove them. So click on next. So namespace, it's where you can create and see your application to manage them. Then this one is an example application. We will have a look at it later. Reporter is where you can create advanced dashboard views between all the data from different applications. And workflows is where you can create advanced logic between your different applications and data. Then the classical profile settings. Okay, we can end at the onboarding. Let's start by opening the CRM suite example. It's a completely ready to use template showing you the different features of Apache Corteza. It contains different screens. So here the home and the dashboard. You have the leads, so you have the list of leads but you can create ones, export, do a bunch of things. And all of those screens have been created with Corteza. We will see in a second time how we can create and customize things, but for now, just try to use it. Click on add on the leads. Let's say we add John do for company XYZ. There are a lot of options you can add about your leads, but it's just a demo, so we'll keep it simple about the data we add. You can add notes, do some actions, see a list of events related to this lead, add different tasks related to it. But for now, just create it with just a few data and hit save. So you have record created, so it opens automatically in the view of this lead. And from there, you have different options. You can delete this lead that we just created, do a copy, edit it, or add another one. Just let's go back to our leads. And now we have our table view containing our leads. Currently, we only have one, but we had information we can filter about different columns and values our leads panel also contain two graphs showing us some data about our leads so the number of new leads per month because we only have one and we just created it's not very visual but i guess if you have more and really use it it can be pretty useful here it seems we'd have no number of leads but i guess it's by type and i didn't set up a type with this lead. Let's try to see the different actions we can do on it. So we click on it, it opened the lead view where we were after the creation. And let's click on convert this lead into an account. So you see the lead has been converted and now we are on the view of previously the lead, but now it became an account. And from there, you can do other actions such as creating opportunities, create a contract from this account, create a new case, add different contacts, contracts. It really is a fully featured CRM suite. Let's discover the page builder. You can see the option here, but let's do it on the home instead. So we have new leads, zero, converted leads, one because it's not a lead anymore and we converted it so it appears on our dashboard let's click on page builder and from there you can see the different blocks that make this page 
you can edit them and you have the title of the blog, new leads this month, for example. You have the choice about description, the style, what data you are displaying, what model it is. So the model in Corteza, it's about the data table, it's the equivalent of a table. So lead, it is the module lead. Events, it will be the module events and so on. You can add some filters. So status equal new, which means because we converted our lead, it isn't anymore a new lead. So it doesn't appear in new lead this month. But it may be if we remove that feature, we have one new lead. We can save and close. View page. Oh, first we need to save. View page, and now we have new lead this month appearing. Let's say we want to add our chart. We can go to Page Builder, go below Add Block. Here you have a lot of different type of blocks. We can select Chart, but then we will need a chart to add. So here it's the list of existing one, but we can create our own chart from scratch. Go to Charts here. You can create new chart. Let's create a generic chart. Let's name it Account Growth. You can add a handle, so it's a short name if you have a complicated chart name, so you can use it elsewhere and find it more easily. The color scheme, you have the choice between a lot of different colors. Let's take this one. The data source, it will be the account module. And you have the choice between different filters. Record created this year, last year, this quarter, or you can even create your own filter, but I won't add any. Which field we want to refer to, let's say just account name, no grouping. And here the field, we want to count them and to display them through a line. We have a lot of different options. If you are used to chart, it should look familiar. Let's save it. Now we have chart saved and we have a preview here, but because we have only recent data, it can't draw a line because we have only one point. So now let's go back to our pages. And now you can see we are in edit mode because we opened the chart, which is a built-in feature. So we have that tree look of all the structure of our application. If we want to go back to it, we can go to public pages. And then let's say we want to add our new graph into dashboards, open page builder, go below, add block, add a chart. Let's name it account gross new accounts and the chart we can select the one we created which i guess is completely below perfect add block and now we can see it on the bottom we can make it bigger we can drag and drop it to move it but first we should for example remove this one and same for the other one and now it can go on top we can resize and we have our account growth we have seen the very basic on when we are within an application. Let's go back to the list of application with the six dots here. There is case management, which is another application like the one that we just used, but it's maybe a bit simpler and it's a ready to use template to handle cases. So let's go back to the application list again. This time, instead of using one of the ready to use one, we'll go to namespaces and we will create our own. So we, the two present application are CRM and case management. Go to manage namespaces, create a new one. We'll just name it demo app, short name. Let's name it demo, enable namespace, enable on application list. So it will appear on the sig dot. So let's use it. You can show the logo of it, but we need to Add one later, it's in another screen. Hit save. And now we created it, we can add a logo. So let's browse, add the icon and save. Now we can click on the six dots and we can see the application that we created demo up here. Let's open it. And because the application is empty, we just created it. We have an onboarding process helping us to get started. So create model, as I said earlier, a model, it really is like a table in a database. You can rename it. I will keep demo model. It will generate a simple handle here. You can add the different record fields, which are columns in a traditional database. So you have sample, a text input. Let's say um, first name, add new field, last name. 
and you have the name which is the column name here and title which is the way it will be displayed inside the list is it required isn't it uh, creation date the type you can say it's a date and time but i guess it is in the system field so we don't need to create it too but you can see there are various number of type of fields let's get rid of it yes and let's save our first module now this is the admin UI so we can go and create a record page and we will also want a record list page so it automatically generate those pages now let's open the edit record page this is what sample data will look like by default it just shows the different columns but we can add different blocks for example, you can add a calendar to add all the different rendezvous you have with that lead, if it is a lead. Or if you have related models, you can add a chart to see some data related to it. Add comments if you want to share information between the team member or if you want to store notes. It's a lot of blocks you can add to enrich only this view of one module data. So let's do it with adding a file. Let's say it's a how-to guide Every time we add one data in this collection, we might have good practices our new team members need, and we will add the file here. So we can select the different files we want to enable in that block. I will just add an image. We can add the block. It's below here. You can see they can download the file, the guide. Here it's the image, but let's imagine it is not. We can drag and drop and structure the page the way we like. Once we are happy with it, we can save. Before having a view to it, let's open the records list. We can do the same, add different blocks on the right, edit, but we won't do it. We just want to view the page, add some data in the collection we just created. And you can see we have the view we just did. So sample, let's say, AX data, data John. We save it. And now we have the view of our user. We have the how to guide so we can download the file and we have the record list that has the new data we created. Of course, it's very abstract. It's fake data and no real use case, but you can see how easy it is to create new data and create some custom behavior. So when you create an application, you will create your models and you will automatically have CRUD enabled. So create, read, here we are on read, you have the update. So if you click on edit, you can update the data and you can delete. So you have a complete CRUD. But then when you have some data, you want to do more complex things between the different models. And here it's where the workflow goes. So click on the six dots and open the workflows tab. Here you can see all the different workflows of our whole Corteza instance. So between all our different applications. So you can see there are a lot in the CRM ones a few more in the kids management but let's create a new one let's say it's for demo new sample data we can have a handle run as it will be the user that will perform it so let's say it's me is it enabled or not and if it is a sub workflow but us we want it to be the main one and here you have an editor where you can add any logic you want. So it's a visual workflow editor. For example, we can add a trigger. What will start this workflow? You click on edit here to label how you will see it here in the workflow editor. So you can keep a good understanding of what you are creating. The resource related to this. So for us, it will be compose model. What event will trigger it? It will be, for example, after create. And then after create, we will have that workflow triggered and we will perform an action to send an email to the user or maybe to one of the team member to know that we have new data. But of course, it can be way more complicated. So let's open our lists. Let's open one of the existing one. You have the number of steps here. CRM account, create new case. So from account, and you can see the different logic between the workflow. So if there is a primary contact, if the user is a primary contact, if it is, then it will set primary contact and we say it found it. Otherwise, if it is not between the different contacts, it will continue to keep looking for one. And after this loop is finished, it will look if it found one primary contact. If it's the case, 
it will do some action. And if not, it will just add a prompt to the user to say there are no primary contact. With this visual workflow, actually you can do any logic you want visually without any code. Now let's see other things available we have when we use Corteza. If we go back to the application list, we have other useful tools, for example, Jitsi video conferencing. And Jitsi is another open source software. We made a video covering it to make video call. So let's name our room demo, create, allow the use of our camera and microphone, and we are inside a video conference tool. It's very cool that within Corteza, they are leveraging other open source software to make their app even more useful. Then let's open the reporter section. And here you can create reports based on all your different models. So let's name it test report, save it, go to the report builder and you can add blocks. So it's like the page builder that we were using. But the main difference here is that you will select between some data, for example, metrics that comes from all the different data sources from the other models. Let's go back to the application list and let's finish with the admin area. This is the screen we arrived when we first opened the instance. I hope now it's less scary than what it was. From there, you can manage your different users having access to Corteza. You can define different roles for your user. What are they allowed to do? You also have the list of your applications. So for example, you don't want to see any more one of the application in the list, Jitsi, and click list it. Then you submit to save it. And now if you go back to your list of application, you only have the application that you want to see on that screen. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed discovering Corteza with us. If you find our content useful, please hit the like button to make it more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our upcoming platform overviews. In the meantime, you can continue discovering great free tools like this one.